Hello and welcome back, fellow baseball card enthusiasts. Hey, if you're here and I'm here, it means it is time to rip once again. And we are on to Hobby Box number three of this case rip. So three of 12. Uh, did the other two. Uh, hopefully you've been following and having fun with it. I know I have been. So this is going to be box number three. Uh, the goal here is to know a little bit more what to expect and what I'm looking for. I just want to see something new. Something they haven't seen before yet in here. So, I don't know, uh, maybe a lower numbered card. Uh, maybe the Father's Day, Mother's Day. One of the clear cards, that would be kind of fun to pull out of them. We should be getting a team color card. Uh, either the team color match ones out of the case. So maybe it's in this box. Uh, we'll have to see. So, but that's kind of where I am with it at this point is, is uh, hoping just to see something new. Still having some fun. Out of the two boxes, we got uh, the two kind of hits. We've had one auto, which was a very nice Colton Cowser auto. And then a Mem card, which was a Bat Relic. Uh, so now we're going to see, kind of hoping, then get five or six autographs out of the case, which would kind of match what I get out of a jumbo case, which is a silver pack. But uh, who knows, we'll have to see. <clears throat> These packs look a little chewed up in here. I don't know if they are or not, so hopefully we don't have any any damage going on. All right, first pack in here. I've been taking a lot more looks at the at the designs in that. I, I don't dislike it. It does have shades of 86 design to me with kind of the black tops and maybe a little bit of an unpopular take, but I was haven't never been really a big fan. Um, the 86 or even the 87. It's a nice Corbin Carroll rookie cup. Tops design. I have gotten back into recently building sets again. Something I haven't done since I was just younger. And it's been it's been actually a lot of fun doing it going through. So I plan to do one here. I don't know if I'm going to have one. Because I haven't started... Uh, Checking to see what I've, I've got. Got them sorted out. So I can start looking at the sets. But uh, haven't uh, haven't gotten into the set yet. I'm thinking maybe after three. So maybe after this hobby. Maybe one more. Try to see where I stand with having just a base card set. Alright, the last two videos. The hit came in the first one, two packs. But I kind of started in a different position on the box here. Um, try the other two top slots here. See if maybe that hit will show up. We got an insert or something back here. There it is. So this the the hit. It, it's fun. Well, this is uh, so. Here's a fun one. It's numbered out of one ninety nine, which I'm thinking is is that red? I think it's supposed to be red foil. So maybe in the hits it might be some different, but definitely red. Game used memorabilia. It's a bat instead of a napkin. Arenado out of one ninety nine. So and then this. Is, so it came in the, the the top two. So if you look at the box here, let me bring the box up. If you look at the box, the hits I think in all three boxes either come from this pack and or this pack. And this one was the pack that was right here. So they seem to be putting them right on top in there. I'll have to see if that's a trend that continues. Another thing too is. I've been hitting, so if you look, a lot of the hits have kind of been in the middle of the pack, but this is the second time I pulled a gold card as the last card in the pack. So they're not they're not always um, not always in the middle of the pack here too. So, and I, I'm expecting that maybe some of the hits can be at the front of the pack and that as well. So they don't seem to be in a position, I guess, in a specific position. Is what I'm saying. So two hits in that one pack. We get uh, a sleeve on this one up here. We got the gold. It is the league leaders. We just got Bo, two-time World Series MVP Corey Seager and Yandy Diaz for the batting average. And then we find a thicker sleeve here. I think these ones will fit. A red bat relic. So. We'll set those up there. All right. Maybe in the future I'll have to avoid that first pack. 
just to draw out the drama of where the hits are. But I've been taking a, a closer look, at least to the front, hoping that I'm not missing anything because, you know, the true photo ones, I've seen pictures of people pulling those. I'm not sure where in the packs, if those have always been in the middle or towards the back of the pack or anywhere. Here's an Arenado, the uh, uh, blueprint. I've, I've liked the aesthetics of the blueprint. Uh, they're they're kind of fun. See what he's got. He's got a glove, glove certainty. This is blueprint, hand strength, arm accuracy. Hey, they're aesthetically they're great. They don't really give you a lot of information on them. You know, actual real information like how fast it throws, what his average exit velocity is. If he's a batter, but they're fun cards. Okay, Matos rookie. So, after each trip, I've kind of gone through them. I've been sorting out a little bit, getting prepared to build the set. There's Matty O, nice PC hit. Matty O hits dingers. The 89 Morel. Uh, and I haven't, I haven't missed any. I haven't found any I missed. There's Henry Davis, could be a nice rookie right there. But just in seeing some of the hits in the towards the front of the pack. Sometimes they're in the middle, sometimes they're more towards the back. So, um, all of them, for the most part, I felt like are either obvious or been turned around. Although that, that gold at the back of the pack, I don't think that was flipped around, was it? It was not. I don't think the other gold that I pulled uh, was flipped around either. It's so Ronnie, Ronnie, I'm just calling it Ronnie. <laughs> Drew Abbott, Rookie Cup. Rookie, Rookie Cup for the Reds. Tyler Anderson. All right, moving along. Pulled up some uh, MH2 slabs in the background there, hoping for some luck. Maybe leave him up there for a little a couple of rips. Just trying to change up the backgrounds a little bit. There's a nice Braves. League, uh, National League card, the Gatorade Celebration. Jose Rodriguez, rookie. Soto, not in his Yankees uniform. I think it's the first Soto I've seen. Just a base, but there's a new Celebration of the Kid. Doesn't that look weird? I just really don't remember Griffey being on the White Sox. So, looks like he was... 41 games with the White Sox in uh, 09 before he went and finished home with the Mariners. So Reds to White Sox for a brief period of time and then back to the Mariners. I just don't remember him. I just don't remember it at all. All right, I think we got the first rainbow foil with the Seth Lugo. Here, so not a, haven't really hit anything big in any of the parallels or foils yet. I think the biggest hit so far out of the two plus this one box has been that Colton Cowser auto. Uh, hit a lot of the base rookies, but we'll just keep trying. Open it out of the case. Just one or two crazy boxes or one or two crazy hits can just really make it all worthwhile. Shohei on the home run leaders. This is one of the few City Connect jerseys uh, that I've liked. Speaking of jerseys, has anybody been following all of the... the see, this is, I think, a terrible City Connect jersey. I don't know. I just don't like the full black. The jersey can, going on with everybody hating the new Nike Fanatics performance jerseys. They're saying they can't customize them they don't fit right they look cheap lettering smaller it's kind of interesting wondering if that'll it'll go away or if somebody will do something on it I even read some players and haven't they didn't list the names that have actually filed grievances with the players association over the uniforms which seems kind of the have to really hate them to file a grievance on them. So, 
seems the only players coming out in favor of them actually have a Nike sponsorship, which makes sense. You don't want to go against your sponsor. There we go with the Nakunya. A couple of him. It looks like we got another backwards hit. Dalton Varsho. Probably our second foil. I think the odds show that you'd get about one, just a little over one foil per hobby box. It wasn't quite one because it was like one in like 24 packs or something. And we got 20 bits so far. This is now three hobbies where we've hit at least two of the rainbow foils. Haven't hit it in a rookie or anything overly crazy yet. So put Varsho up there. And we're getting four, I think there was five that I call hits in the first box and then four so far in the second, or four in the second one and so far four in this one. But we got a lot of packs to go, so hopefully we'll pull something else out of here. It's Al Frelick, that could be end up being a good rookie. Yoshida, rookie cup. Matt Walner, I, that was the last year in 22, I hit one of the golden images of Walner, was who it was in his rookie card. It's a nice Henry Davis. He could end up being a really good rookie card, former number one draft pick for the Pirates. India, and a Grayson Rodriguez. So let me know what you think about the jersey controversy stop you from buying jerseys do you really care all that much there's a trout Savali there's the uh, the uh, all tops team Otani it's kind of a cool looking <clears throat> cool looking card there and a Clark Schmidt we've got about five six packs left to go and then the silver pack Evan Carter, that's good. That's gonna be probably a really good rookie. I think to hit him in a parallel. Kriloff, Corbin, y Yanner, Wilson, Luca. Here's a Grand Gamers. This has probably been my least favorite insert. The Grand Gamers. I, I just don't know what a Grand Gamer is. That <laughs> seems seems uh, I don't know. Seems made up to me. All right, next pack. And I, the Grand Gamers, I don't really care for the look of them either. So, the Kessinger Rookie, Reyes, Verdugo, Nemo. So we do have another hit in here. So that's, I think, a Above the average, getting a fifth hit. No, it's just an 89. I thought it was backwards, but it, the white border was throwing me off. But it's a nice card, though. Bobby Witt Jr. in the Royals. And followed by his uh, his base card at the Royals. So two Bobby Witts and the Rosarina. I think those were Bobby and Randy were together in a pack and before. Yeah, the white border was throwing me off. I thought I was seeing the a flipped around card. So, don't go, old Charlie. Yes, Spencer Horwitz. There's a judge. Chaz still might want be one of the better photos I've seen. Hunter Green, Brandon Marsh. All right. Pull these out. Five packs left to go. And then the silver pack. I haven't hit a rookie even in the silver pack. So things of the first top of the first few boxes at the top of the hobby box. There's a lot of getting a lot of debris falling out of this pack. Some weird paper flex in that coming out of here. Davis Schneider, Longoria. Gratterall. All right. All 
I don't know. The uh, four four cards, four to five hits. Per, there's a nice Ellie rookie. So it's the second time I've seen Ellie. Just the base though for him, Andy Rodriguez. I feel like there might be a few less hits, Max, in the hobbies, but I'd, I'd have to go back and look. He goes so long between opening last year's format, at least for me. But the four to five hits per hobbies, and I don't know. I don't know if that's higher or lower. I feel like it's been a little bit lower. Hoping we see still one more numbered card or a or lower numbered one in here. Garcia, Judge, with his greatest hits, his 250th career home run. Luciano could end up being a good rookie. And Matt Manning. All right, two more packs. Let's get one more hit. Get, see that true photo. It's the true photo, I think, or the, oh, I think it's the, uh, uh, not the true photo, the team match, the color match one. There's supposed to be one per hobby case. There's a Senga rookie cup. Acuna and the league leaders. Miles Miklas. And we did, so we hit C, so sometimes, there we go. Oh, it's the Phillies and it's Schwarber. So... I would really have loved to see that in the in a Braves, but still, this is what he's looking for. This is wanting to see something new in each box. We get the team color match. That's the one thing I've, I've really liked. I said I, the the base one seems a little 86 just to me, and I'm not a fan of that. But what they've done with the parallels, removing that and doing the color on here, that's extremely nice. I think these, they're saying they might be like one, they're not numbered. But maybe a hundredish each of each card. I don't know. I haven't seen the math or done it. But that's the hit for this box. The question is, is that the case, the best one in the case so far? I think the Colton Cowser autograph might be a little on top of that one. But still, still nice getting the nice finding that. I've been wanting to see those. I'd love to see an Independence Day next. So Smith Schauber. Nice PC rookie there. Christopher Morrell and Taunton Varsho. So, team color match. I think it looks great. Obviously a Braves fan, so Phillies aren't my favorite, but I still love baseball and love baseball cards, so picking that up, that's fine. Last pack here. George Kirby, Hancock, Amaya, and Cano. All right, let's do the silver pack, see if we can get anything exciting out of here. And we're gonna start off with, uh, I mean, he's a Yankees rookie, Everson Pereira. Actually, haven't seen him before yet, so it's interesting. Vladdy Daddy, Guerrero Sr. Julio, there you go. That's a nice card. And they're uh, CD Connect ones of the Mariners. Very nice. And last card of the rip. Here we go. That's the best, probably the best rookie. I think the first rookie kind of parallel we've gotten in the Mojo pack with an Evan Carter. So I will take that. That's the best silver pack out of the three boxes so far. So the other trend is each box has gotten slightly better. I know it's gonna be a hard trend to keep up, but I felt like box two was better than box one. And I'm kind of feeling like, even though we didn't pull the auto, we pulled the mem, but it was a numbered mem. We got the color match card with the Schwarber, pulling a nice mojo of Evan Carter rookie in that. I feel like overall that third box was even uh, better than the first one and the second one. So let me know your thoughts if you've been following along. Remember we got the Team color, the gold card, the red uh, foil uh, bat, two rainbows, and the Evan Carter rookie. And I don't think I miss anything, but I'll go back and check them out. But uh, hey, if you want to see the rest of the case and that, please give me a like and a subscribe. And more importantly, leave some comments down below. 
uh, let me know and share your hits with me. I do this because I want to show hits and I want to see people's hits and just enjoy baseball cards. So thank you for joining along and I'll see you next time.